Hi, I'm John. In the installation video, we looked at everything we suggest doing up until the point where you open the Avera app for the first time. Now, in part two of this basic intro video series, we'll outline suggestions for the initial settings we like in preferences. Later in this video, we'll also explore basic features to get you going in Avera. As with the first video, this one moves fast so you can skim and then pause or repeat any parts you'd like to study more. I plugged in an external mouse to point things out. Right now we're on the map screen. The top menu item is Preferences. The top line in Preferences is Storage. We won't change anything, but I knew you'd want to look because it's the first item. Tap your back button to go back to the Preferences list. Same story with GPS. I suggest you just look and don't touch. I know you're curious. I strongly suggest you leave screen orientation alone for now. You can always mess with it later and find out uh, what you like best and what Android can do. With GPS on, there's a live taxi icon showing your position on the field. When you land, it can auto switch to AD plate during rollout if you've set that option. That quick trip through preferences will save time later, but this next part is more fun, exploring some of the basic features.
I like being able to take notes or draw right on the chart. With GPS on, there's a live taxi icon showing your position on the field. When you land, it can auto switch to AD plate during rollout if you've set that option. It's handy being able to set and label waypoints anywhere, even by typing in the exact coordinates. I did a find for LAX off camera a minute ago.
Double tap won't work if you drag the map in between taps. Pretty easy to do. Don't worry about it, just try again. Now I'll zoom out and pan to show what happens when I get to the edge of the LA sectional. Remember, that's the only sectional I've downloaded. I didn't download the San Francisco sectional because I'm not flying there until after it would have expired anyway, so I did get the WAC chart. So let's have a look at that. The WAC is great for planning, and uh, sometimes I use them in flight too, I'm switching back and forth. Um, let me go back to this sectional here and show you that if you zoom out far enough, you can also see a wide view, but there's really no detail. You can't really read it, but it could be handy for some things. Happy flying.